Hello everyone, I'm here in Edmond Rothschild Park, so it was given to the city of uh, Boulogne uh, by the Rothschild family. And one of you asked me, um, so you are going to go back to China, but uh, what do you miss from France? And um, this is what I miss, you know, this is what I miss. So a nice place uh, with a few people where you can go running and jogging and walking. And then uh, here you have some ducks, you can do horse riding, the sky is nice and... Uh, um, uh, there is no air pollution or little air pollution, the food is not polluted or at least uh, less polluted than in China, the water is less polluted than in China, so this is what I miss, the, the environment. But for all the rest, I really prefer my life in China. And uh, now I, I, I cannot tell you, um, I cannot make a general rule. I cannot make any rule because it really depends on people. You have some people in France, uh, they have a very hard life and, uh, and some of them, their life is easier. Some people are unemployed, some people have jobs, some people work as teachers, some people work uh, as a civil servant, so they work for the administration, while some people work for the private companies. So you have all kinds of different people and also people have different feelings and they don't see and perceive the things in the same way but just talking about myself um, when I was um, so this tree is very old when I was uh, here working in Paris I felt a lot of stress the life was very stressful uh, I was very tired with it and um, you always had to uh, achieve some results and uh, you will always get the blame blame from the customers blame from the hierarchy blame from your boss then I was really getting fed up with it and also I was always stressed because I stressed out I was stressed I would lose my job if I I didn't achieve enough results, I was stressed, um, if I didn't get a job uh, then uh, um, how the other people will look at me. So there is also um, this, all the society that is around it and even some people in France, uh, they feel a lot of pressure and uh, they will kill themselves. But I think it's the same everywhere, you see it's the same in Japan, some people feel a lot of pressure in Korea, in China. So I think it's more about the individual and what are your opportunities, being a foreigner, being a Frenchman or being an American man um, in China, what are your opportunities, what kind of job can you do, um, uh, how much you make. How many hours do you work and um, where will you work? Will you work in the big city or will you work in the countryside? And uh, how will be life? Is this life going to be very stressful? Uh, do you need to report to someone? Do you have a boss? Or are you free to do your, your job as you wish? And what are your perspe perspective of evolution? Do you have any evolution in this kind of work? Or uh, can you save any money at the end of the month? So it's really uh, something you need to consider, many, many aspects. For me, I really like China because I like the culture, I like the, the, the people there. Um, I couldn't say, I wouldn't like uh, to work in Beijing or Shanghai because these places are too big for me and I think there's too much pollution. Even in Shangsha there is a lot of pollution, but at least you can get outside of the city. If you live on the outskirts of the city, you can go outside of the city. And that's not the case in cities like Shanghai and Beijing. And um, it really depends what job you do. For me, I'm working as a foreign teacher, so it's really easy. I don't have so many hours work. I can relax. I have time uh, to enjoy myself, uh, to do some sport, to spend time with my family, um, to take care of, of myself. So this is also what I like. And uh, I have no boss. I have no stress. And... Um, I can also do my own business, so I am doing the wine, but there are many other business opportunities in China. I told you a few of these business opportunities, and I'm still going to give you more ideas and, uh, about this. And uh, okay, that, that's what I wanted to share with you. And also, of course, on the materialistic aspect, you also have some products you cannot find in China. And I will do a video about this and tell you a little bit more. There are some products, uh, which product uh, I will try to list all the products that if you are a foreigner, you come to China, which are all the products that you should, should maybe uh, take with you or try to, to bring with you. And that it will be really difficult for you to find in China. And as you can see here, there is a Japanese garden, but it's, it's not that big. So uh, still very nice with a duck here. <laughs> so it's really a nice place and there are many trees so the Rothschild uh, at this time it was fashion to have a Japanese garden there is one Japanese garden I think over there he has a French or English garden with uh, a big field and um, he, he bought many of the trees abroad and did all this 
and then uh, he gave this place to to the city, which is really good. I think I'm not sure when when he, he gave it to the city, uh, uh, but it's really nice. So, <laughs> so I will I will just leave you here. Uh, take care and uh, see you next time, everyone. Take care.